Hello, this is Jew, and we're back to my flight, my Stern Flight 2000 pinball project here. And uh, again, if you saw the last video, I do have a problem with the head support. The head is kind of laying down right there, and you can see the parts right there. And so we're going to kind of work on this project today, and uh, I'll show you kind of how I'm putting this thing together. So I propped up the head carefully here, and the first thing we have to do is unplug uh, the head, uh, all the connectors that connect the head uh, to the body, and these are just these little uh, uh, wire bundles right here. After they're disconnected, we'll just put them right here in the body, out, out of the head. Okay, so with all the wiring harnesses removed, uh, basically the head is detached from the body. And I think I'm just going to start by removing a lot of these little nails uh, that was kind of left over as a result of the demolition. So I was able to get all the uh, nails and uh, staples out of the wood. Um, just for your interest, uh, these were the nails that were in the wood, the kind of these T-nails, so that's what Stern uh, hammered into them. I don't have these, but I do have finishing nails that I'll be using in their place. So zooming right behind, if you look at this corner right here, uh, I'm going to have to take this out a little bit. You could see that they're nailed in with some nails here. I've already t t taken out a few of them, but uh, you can see I have to pull some of these nails and I also have to get this board underneath here when I'm ready to reinstall. Uh, this one has more nails in there, so I want to get that out so I can kind of clean this up. Okay, to get these uh, nails off, it can, it's a little bit tricky. You don't want to damage the metal here. I'm just going to use a crowbar rubber mallet to see if I can get underneath this. very very slowly And then and when they're out a little ways, we just drive it back in. Maybe protect your your box that way, and then just pull the nails straight out. And there are these little screw nails. All right, so with uh, a few of them out, I'm just going to use these little shims to just kind of shim this, hold this in place a little out of the way. Just like that. Just enough. I mean, there's not tons to work with, but I don't really want to take more nails out. And I just want to have access to the slot so I can repair it, put some glue and some nails in here. Okay, so with all the nails and fasteners off, um, I think I'm going to take some Windex and just clean off uh, all these parts. Also, I'm going to uh, take a sander to some of these uh, att uh, attachment points where there was once glue and where there were nail holes. And I'm just going to smooth them down so when I do join them back together, it'll be a nice fit. 
So you can see where this board that was originally loose um, uh, kind of slides out. I kind of moved the metal back just enough, just barely enough, that I could slide this up and out. And so I'll remove that. Now, um, looking inside, you can see nothing really supported it here. Um, one of the things that I'm going to be putting a bead, new bead of glue right here and probably put some finishing nails in there to secure it. But since it takes so much weight of the, this is pretty much, uh, takes a lot of the weight of the, the head. I'm going to put another block right here at its base to kind of support it. Um, so I'm going to be uh, using some finishing nails and some glue to put a little block there. So another thing I'm going to do is, this was kind of the plate, so here's that little supporting uh, board, and this is kind of the top plate of uh, the cabinet here, and uh, it looks like I probably have to ex extend this metal out to get this thing back in here. But this kind of sat like here, and it rested on this plate here. And as that thing moved down, you could see that there was some damage here. Uh, I'm going to use some glue and try to clamp that shut to see if I could repair that. There's also some damage right here. You can see it pulled away. And I'm probably not going to get this as strong as the original board, but I'll try to do my best. But that's why I kind of want to further secure this board here. Now it also was secured by just these little braces here that was just glued in. Um, there's one missing there and it actually remains in the cabinet. Uh, actually, I kind of want them to be in the cabinet like this, so when I put it on, uh, it's sitting on the plate rather than trying to glue it uh, here. And then because I also want to nail these things in. So I'm going to pop these out. Uh, there's two more here. So I'm going to pop this out. Uh, if they're still in good shape, I'll just reuse them and glue them and maybe uh, t uh, maybe t t uh, toenail them in. Um, and I'm probably going to put another brace here and another brace on the other side. I can't really do any more inside here because one, there's these bolts here uh, or nuts there. Uh, this uh, little brace would extend too far. I might be able to put one on this side, which is uh, the back side, but uh, and I'll probably do that. Just one more brace here. Uh, but I'll go ahead and do that. I also. I also have these pieces here, so let's let's put this thing together a little bit. So this is kind of what the box, uh, the brace kind of looked like. This piece is missing here, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, glue these with some clamps together. Uh, there is one damaged corner here. You can see it's a little weakened. I think I'll pop this out and re-glue another uh, support there. I'm also going to reinforce these corners a little bit. So I'm going to clamp this together. Clamp that together, um, and then the last piece was actually this little thin piece. That uh, let's see if you could see it. It actually, uh, I believe, it just um, kind of went right here as kind of like yeah. I didn't break out. It was um, just just like this, but uh, it was just kind of nailed here, and I'll probably nail nail it and uh, actually uh, use a couple of nails. Uh, nail and glue it uh, to, uh, on here. So I just let this sit for about 24 hours and, and then we just unclamp it. And there you go. Um, this was the one that I added. I just have to remove a little bit of the glue. But it looks pretty strong. I didn't even add nails. I think I'll add some finishing nails uh, uh, right here. Actually, which no, I can't even see which side. It was this side. So I'll add a couple of finishing nails just for some additional strength, but it seems pretty strong. So we'll move on to the next one. So this one, if you recall, had a lot more damage. The wood was actually cracked. So um, I did some clamping here. in a sec and then unclamp this side which was also cracking and see how 
this turned out. Okay, so it looks like it. I gotta clean off some glue here, but this looks like at least it's straighter. It looks like it's glued together. And this side here, I mean, this one was pretty badly cracked up, but I think I got it pretty well, at least better than it was before. But these sections will always be weak, and so I want to make sure that there's plenty of reinforcement. Just remove some of the glue. So I did some reinforcing here. You can see right there um, a couple of reinforced blocks there, there, there to hold this piece right here when it slips in. Uh, also there. But I also, I, I haven't glued or nailed this in yet, but you can see right there, I put a block on both sides here, glued it and nailed it in. But I'm, I'm also down here going to put another piece that will be glued to this and this. So it will help reinforce this because I think this is the weakest link. And when the um, head rotates this way, this gets the brunt of the force. And so having this there helps, um, but also having a piece uh, here that kind of glues on there will also help. And of course this whole thing will be glued up. So I just temporarily slipped this in place. You can see how it fits. Um, it'll just support there. And then also this piece will go right about there. And it's a little bit warped. Maybe that's because of either the lower, but uh, once I nail and glue it in, it should be fine. And then you can see here, this piece is actually beveled because uh, this lower piece kind of um, tilts this way. And so to allow the head to remain um, uh, relatively level, uh, they bevel this support piece there and you can see how it works right there. Okay, so with all the reinforcements in, I'm going to go ahead and put this uh, support plate down. And, uh, but first I'm going to glue it in and then I'm going to use some uh, finishing nails to secure it after I get it nice and glued in. down and we're going to use some uh, finishing nails. Okay, so I'm using an inch and a half finishing nails. And just like the uh, plate, I'm going to uh, glue the base on and then I'm actually going to use two and a half inch finishing nails uh, so I can go through this, this piece of wood. Okay. Fit it as best I can to the original. And there you go, the back box head support is all fixed. It's securely sitting there, nice and sound. Here's the back, and it looks pretty good. Maybe some touches of paint, and uh, nobody will notice that anything happened. So, there you go. It. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.